Oh, what? Fox, what a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League. You collected all the badges too. That's cool. Then I'll whip you as a warm-up for Pokemon League. Come on. I forgot that they still have you fight him regardless. Gravazone. That's funny that he basically has our starter fusion. Stealth Rock? That's not fun. Of course you have Explosion. Why wouldn't you? Quill. Yes, we will swap out. Uh, Quill Lava Cyndaquil, perhaps? Or Quillfish Cyndaquil? Yeah, I think that's a Quill Lava Cyndaquil. Interesting. It's very cute. Mistrio. Mistrevis Dugtrio? Or, uh, yeah, Dugtrio. Um, yeah, we'll stay in. <laughs> That's actually really cute. <laughs> Chanby. Let's go into Zuko for that. <laughs> Here we go, the starter, Gold Rock. Latiader? Is that Latias Shelder? It is! <laughs> um, okay, so that is either Water Psychic or Water Dragon. Let's Thunder Wave you, because I don't know which. <laughs> must hold a berry must eat a held berry to use the move well I mean we might as well have it we can give you a berry to eat that loosened me up I'm ready for Pokemon League Fox you need more practice but hey you know that I'm out of here smell ya how rude. Uh, we should go heal. Yeah, you know, we'll give you the Lumberry. So if we ever get a status condition, we cure it instantly and then we can use Belch. I like the sound of that. Come on. Just let us go, please. <laughs> Welcome to the Pokemon League. Only trainers who have obtained all eight badges from this region are allowed any further. Let me check if you have obtained enough badges. Very well, you may proceed. Here we go, Route 26. We are here. We are able to capture some new Pokemon as necessary. 
Uh, I'm going to be focusing less on catching Pokemon from this point on, but if we see something that we don't already have, we might as well try to grab it. Such as Victory Bell. I don't think we have, like, I think we had a Bell Sprout, maybe, but I'm not sure. Perfect. Putting me to sleep, that's fine. We ended up buying a hundred Ultra Balls in our last stream for, or not the last stream, but the one for um, capturing legendaries, and we ended up not needing a majority of them. Come on. Come on, just let me do it. Just get in the ball. Crying worked on the Articuno. Why is it not working on you? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, it's in the wrong box because I never remember to set the box correctly. We did have a, a bell sprout already. Bummer. Oh well. Not going back at this point. Celeba! Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, it's Kabuto. <laughs> Lapras Raichu, maybe? It's Lapras Pikachu. Okay. Hey, free heart scale. Thank you. Oh, we do not have enough healing items at this point. That's not good. And we cannot spend any money either. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure something out for that then. Drowsy Palkia! Interesting! <laughs> Welcome back, Annie! How are you doing? And how's everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Had to get Saren in bed. Perfectly understandable. Let's get Appa in on this fight. I'm okay. Tired. Debating on whether I want to game more or go to bed. Well, I believe, if I recall your... Uh, Twitter postings as of late. It's been a lot of I'm tired waking up early. Been up since 4.50 this morning thanks to Saren. Oh goodness. We've we've got a, a hungry cat who likes to wake us up really early. Although I will say she did le let us sleep in this morning and we have a uh, automatic feeder now that I need to finish setting up. 
And that should take away some of the waking up in the middle of the night. Fingers crossed, of course. <laughs> How kind of her, yeah. <laughs> so what happened was, like, I woke up at 3-ish in the morning because I think I was just a little too cold, which is the best feeling in the world considering how hot it's been recently. And then the cat woke me up at, like, 5-something, or like 4.45 or something like that. And um, at first I thought it was still 3 o'clock, so I was like... Oh, it's too early to feed you. But then I looked at my phone and it was... Oh, ads. Oh, hold on then. <laughs> uh, we are on a new route. So new encounters, potentially. Ooh, Kofagrigus. Yes, please. Yes, caught it. Very good. We pour nutrients into the cave's waterfalls to make sure the water life stays healthy. The Pokémon are especially strong around here, so we study the effects of their environment on the life cycles. This window gives us a direct look inside the cave. We use it to monitor the wild Pokémon that live in it. I've played Ace Attorney, the game where not only you have the, uh, where not only you have to prove your client's innocence, but also find the real killer. Yeah, the. <laughs> I am a huge fan of the Ace Attorney series. I've never played any of the games, but I've watched several Let's Plays of all of the different games between a few different creators. And it's it always struck me as funny that it's basically like you're a lawyer and a detective and a uh, forensic analysis, like, all in one in all of the games. <laughs> Cool Trainer Megan with a Cyndados. Dragauk. Dragonite. I have no idea what the other typing is. Let's uh, stay in, I guess. Oh, it's, it's Dragonite Muck. Okay. That's weird, and it's even got, like, a hazardous waste bucket next to it. <laughs> it's based on the Japanese legal system, where it's essentially guilty and prov uh, until proven innocent. Well, that makes more sense. Leadthorn. Oh, that's unfortunate looking. Alright, we are now in the Tojo Falls. What kind of encounters can we find in the water here? It's worth looking at least a little bit. You know, honestly, a Bidoof in this area would make sense. <laughs> There's a glass window on the wall. <laughs> I bet that's a line of text not a lot of people see in this game. Trap bomb. Cool. Cool. Trap dumb. Okay. 
So I'm thinking for when I play through this game on my own again as just a Nuzlocke, because I haven't played through this game as a Nuzlocke, uh, like a proper Nuzlocke before, I'm going to do like the first two Pokemon on a route as my like fused encounter, unless my first encounter is already a fused Pokemon. I think that's the best way to do it. Oh, sorry, Kingler. We'll try to find another one of you. I wish I had Quick Balls. Hey, that works for me, though. Thank you, Kingler. on Route 27. We can't catch anything anymore over here. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, you are another unfortunate Pokemon. We do not want explosion. No, thank you. <laughs> Lions. Luria. Muck Altaria. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, Mingwa is going to end up being our strongest Pokemon, because we've been using it for a lot of stuff lately. <laughs> ah, yeah, dead end. A Daisuke with a Toganaw. Lanaw. Mergala. Okay. Murkrow, Tangela. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's a sprite and a half if I've ever seen one. here now. There's a spot to heal our Pokemon around here, isn't there? Ooh, Jiraxi, uh, Jirachi Fracture. Dragon... Steel, perhaps? Blast Bite! <laughs> that actually looks really cool. Sun Growth. Sun Flora Tangrowth, I guess? We'll go up to Fire Lord Ozai for this. <laughs> I 
It actually looks pretty cool. It reminds me of Flowey from Undertale. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Wild Pidgeots. I think we have a Pidgey already, so we're gonna. Well, we can't catch it anyway. Never mind. have the shell bell on somebody? No. Okay, let's put that on you. We'll have you heal slightly passively. Naomi with the gab swine. <laughs> Here, this is where we heal, right? Awesome, thank you. Might go to bed early. Good night, everybody. Storm Crown, thank you for hanging out. We'll catch you around, but enjoy the rest of your night. Uh-oh. Stop it. Stop. Stop that nonsense right now. Uh, goodness me. Uh, my cabbages, you're not weak to rock type. Still does a lot of damage when you hit all of them, jeez. You're hitting way too many of those, my guy. Yeah, you're the one who got whipped, jerk. If these could start growing citrus berries, I would be so happy. <laughs> Interesting. Dragon Claw, pretty cool. Arena with a Senbra. Oh, 
Hey, there we go, level 55. Pseudo Corio. We'll stay in. <laughs> Aura Row. Okay. We'll stay in for that too. Oh, it's a Spiro. Okay. Oh, what a cry, jeez. <laughs> Raitine is finally evolving! <laughs> He's got a little, um, slingshot graveler, or, uh, uh Geodude in there. That's so cute! <laughs> ah, Raitine evolves into Raitine. This is from Funky Tomate. Thank you. Oh, and there's there's a different version. It's the same uh, uh, idea as the the same sprite here from Funky Tomato, and then the default one. Um, I like this one better, honestly. <laughs> Rytine, the kite drill Pokemon ground flying. Rytine like to catapult little Geo Raid. Oh, it's very specifically. Uh, it's a. Uh, Geodude Remoraid fusions. That's interesting. Georaid at their targets, but the Georaid are of the opinion that it should be throwing little Ryraid instead. <laughs> yeah, it should be Rhyhorn Remoraid, not Geodudes. <laughs> That's also very funny. Nidotur. Now, let's have a, a debut match for Teo here. Nice. Row Ring. Rock Rough. No, it's, um... I can't tell what this is. Oh, Rotom Ursa Ring. Interesting. And you have Levitate. Not great. Uh, hmm. I like that it's Freddy, uh, Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> Yeah, not enough HP for your substitute. Get out of here. Alright, let's heal up again at the nice lady's place. Where was that? 